bus tours always take you a little further than the city. So we're going to see the fishing village, the Skywalk, and they will take you across to Santa Cruz and the water park. The shuttle bus drops you off in the middle of town and we've just done that, but it's quite easy to walk because the ship is just over there. If you're after Santa Cruz Beach, the cheapest way is by public bus. The Funchal tour or to do the other one you have the blue stripe saying Camera de Lopes. Okay. So we've got our tickets for our city tour, also our cable car tickets. I think we're set for the day now. So over there is the tourist office. The city sites are all walkable and they're pretty close together. So the bus really is to get you out to the extremes. The second stop is the cable car, but you can easily walk it. My 25 euro yellow bus ticket includes the cable car and will last till tomorrow when we leave on the ship. Annoyingly, if you buy a combined ticket from the bus, it's a voucher which you have to exchange at the ticket office, but come round the side so you avoid this queue. Top of the cable car is the tropical gardens, which costs 12 euros 50 to go in, and then up here is the toboggan ride. After you've gone down the mountain, they're brought up on a truck. A lot of work has gone into these gardens and they've even made the pathway so that if you can't walk, a golf buggy can take you round. There's a lot to do without doing the hop on and hop off bus as well. The hop on hop off bus gets top marks for getting you out to the fishing village and the skywalk. So if they're on your list, then it's definitely a must. This is bus stop 12 on the blue route on the yellow bus, Camara de Lobos South. This lovely fishing village, Camarada Lobos, is where Winston Churchill spent a lot of time painting and many places are named here in his honour. So we got off at bus stop 12 and then got on another bus, still part of the yellow bus tour, to Cabo Gireo and we're looking for the Skywalk. Well. So this is the second highest skywalk in the world after the one over the Grand Canyon and it is like stepping into the abyss. It's quite a windy ride up to here but this is the highest skywalk in Europe and it is worth the trip. And another thing worth mentioning is it's free. If you have problems with vertigo, this may not be the bus ride for you. The Cathedral of Funchal was built between 1485 and 1515. Its interior features include a magnificently carved ceiling of geometric design reflecting Moorish influences. The island is so pretty, there's some wonderful architecture here, including behind me, the bank. In 1685, with the construction of the Cathedral of Funchal and a growing population, lands in the public square of the cathedral were leased for the construction of a charitable institution, which would be called Hospital de Santa Isabel. In 1933, the building was ceded to the governing body of the island, Junta Geral de Distrito, for the installation of its services. It's the Ritz. And you're back at the shuttle bus. Please do subscribe to us here on our YouTube channel, Doris Visits, Cruise Port Guides. And we have six or seven now in Madeira, from the toboggan run from top to bottom, the wonderful botanical gardens, and something you may not know about, the Madeira Story Museum on the front.